Hi boys and girls, today for our toilet paper roll craft, we're going to be making a caterpillar. Now I picked some colorful paper to make my caterpillar today, but you can pick any colors you would like, or if you don't have colored paper at home, you can just use crayon and marker and color right onto the toilet paper rolls. So what we need to get started is some glue, marker, pencil, scissors, and some toilet paper rolls. Now you can make your caterpillar as long as you would like. I'm going to make mine using four different rolls. So you may have to save up on some toilet paper rolls before you do this craft. So to get started, I'm gonna take my first roll and I'm going to glue the paper right onto it. There we go. Now again, if you don't have colored paper at home, that's not a problem. You can just color right onto the toilet paper roll with marker or crayons. So I'm going to let that dry while I do my other one. Now I wanted my caterpillar to be bright colors, but you can choose whatever colors you would like. Let me a little bit more glue there. I don't think I used enough for now, a little more. Okay. Now while those are drying, I'm gonna keep doing my other ones. Now again, you could use three, four of these. You could use 10 of these and make a really long caterpillar. So you'll have to tell your grown-ups at home if you're gonna make this one to start saving the toilet paper rolls because you're gonna need more than one to do this craft. here. So while these are drying off to the side, I am going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to make the head of my caterpillar. So I'm gonna trace a bit of sort of like an oval shape on my paper. And cut it out. Once I have that cut out, I'm going to give it some eyes. Okay. We'll give we'll give it a mouth too. Again, we'll make it happy caterpillar. Now I want to take some other paper and I'm going to trace out some antennas. I'm gonna then color those in. I have to use this because I don't have black paper at home. 
So I just traced right onto the white paper and then colored it in. Once it's all colored in black, you are going to take your scissors and cut out those antennas. Once I cut them out, I will show you sort of the shape that I used. Okay, so this is how you're gonna trace them out, okay? Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the bottom parts of these. to the back side of the caterpillar's head. Okay, there we go. Gonna have to let those dry for a second. So while that dries, I'm then going to take my colorful body and I'm going to glue these together. So what I'm gonna do is take one of the rolls, add a little bit of glue, and then kind of connect them, okay? You can do them so that they connect straight. You can do them so that they're sort of wiggly. It's however you choose to do it. So I'm just gonna add some more glue onto there. Okay. Now I need to go to my first roll up here and we're gonna add a little bit of glue to the back side of that first roll. And then we're gonna take our head and we're gonna glue it to the back. Okay, you'll have to let all that dry. And then the nice thing about this is once it's dry, this you can use actually to serve a purpose. So what I I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as I can hold my pencils, maybe my marker. Scissors might be a little bit too heavy for it. Yeah, I don't know if I trust scissors in there. They are a little bit too heavy. But you could use this as a pencil holder. And here you have your toilet paper roll caterpillar craft.